All right, buddy. I got you this for dinner. <laughs> That's from from KFC, mate. It's yours. Yeah, thanks, mate. No, come on. I seriously got it for you. Here, Jacob. No. <laughs> you gonna try some? I'll have like one of them. One of one of those. Yeah. Do you know what that is? Looks like pumpkin or something. Pumpkin. Yeah. It's but you like? Do you ever have tacos? No. Okay. I've had wraps. But have you ever had a salad? Um, only with cucumber, lettuce, mayo. Okay. And egg. And okay. Stuff like that. Yeah. That looks really healthy. Would you like to have some? I'm fine, thank you. <laughs> so you don't typically eat stuff like that? No. no. What do you eat? Uh, a lot of Maccas. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. So how is it? You're skinny, right? I'm fat. I eat like this, you eat Maccas. How does that work? That sucks. And you know what? I'm just <laughs> as active as you are. I'm crazy active. I'm probably the most active person I know. Oh, I do eat a lot of steak. And a lot of fish. Anyway, I'm gonna get it ready for you, champ. You'll love it. I can't wait to see how much you enjoy it. Rice in the middle, look. Guacamole. Oh, yuck. What do you mean, yuck? It's avocado, Tom. Avocado's okay. It depends what it's in. So, I'm gonna get a bit of pumpkin. Get a bit of, a bit of rice, a bit of pumpkin. Hey mate, take that off me. Uh, Come on. No, I'm not eating. Come on, just try it. I'm not eating that. Come on, just try it. No way am I eating that. Come on. <laughs> I'm not eating just that. try it. No way. Come on. Everyone's watching. We're live. Zero chance of eating that. Come I'll on, man. I did it. All right. Hang on. I've put some on a biscuit for you. Pumpkin, tomato. I don't like tomato. Oh my god. What about some corn and yeah, beans? I like corn. I do like corn. All right, there you go. Crunch it all up, come on. Are you reaching for the vomit bag or something? No, no, no! Dom. Dom. Good now. Oh my God, so you didn't like it? Better now. We didn't like it. Oh, really? You got problems, man. The rest of the world, Tracy, that is magnificent. Absolutely beautiful food. I'm sorry that Dom is such a freak. If it had like more like substance to it, maybe like some meat in there, maybe, but. Like... Nah, I wouldn't eat that. I'd never buy that. Beautiful. Don't worry about him. He's got no idea. I've never met anyone like him. All he eats is Maccas. That's it. Three meals a day. Look at this, look at this. I'm fishing, stick your head around here, Dom. I'm fishing with the big dog. Dr. 44 kilo mega Jew dog. Oh God. So we come out, we're meant to be snapper fishing. It's the middle of November and um, it's glassed out. It's not meant to, it's meant to be blowing its ass off. So what do you do when the glass is out in the middle of November and you're fishing with Dom and you're on the squid ground and you're catching squid? You're belt round. The Coronado and you go and catch Pikachu. We're gonna what target is the goal the goal that's on our show 50 kilo Megaju. That's what I'm talking about. They will exist. If we've had 45s and 44s, there's there's probably 50s. <laughs> I'm too many if you're watching this we're about to get one. It happens. And Dom was beating me on the squid, I'm not happy. I'm not silly Brendan, I know you're tree. I've seen you on fucking Mega Jews, Mega Snapper at Wilfstool. That's hilarious. Didn't you like bite Dave's ear off to get that rod? So, the story is if anyone's ever seen the episode where me and Dave are fishing for Big Red in the Singapore Channel at Welshpool, and I end up getting a 10 and a half kilo snapper there, big, big snapper. What you don't see, and we didn't have the camera rolling, was the big fight we had for the rod. Literally the fight, as the fish is screaming and running, but Dave and I are fighting to the death to get that rod. And it got so intense. <laughs> oh no! Oh. oh no. It got that intense, right? That um I bit him. I bit him on the shoulder until he screamed and let go of the rod. I say what you want. But I got a 10 kilo snap out of it. <laughs> so look out Dom!
I might hassle you over a tuna night then. Yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> It's not very often I'm in the company of better Jew fishermen. <laughs> not better in numbers, I guess, but you know, 40 kilo club. That's something I'll probably never do the rest of my life. Uh, you never know. I don't know. I reckon you will. Yeah. I reckon you'll just pull it out. Yeah. Yeah. I can't complain though. I've had 20 pound snapper out here, mega kings. I've had 65 pound Jews. I've caught some amazing shit. I've even caught estuary perch, brim. That was quite impressive. And I've even caught the elusive barrel bluefin. Yeah. So, would I swap that for a 40 kilo Jew? No, I would not. <laughs> I saw you green. <laughs> I would not. And right now Dom's winning two squid to one. Mind you, one of his squid was not that big. It's very annoying that that's gonna give him the win. But How close do you want us to go? How come your sound has stopped? Because it's on medium chirp. So the mark's about four metres that way. Not even. So we're inside it a bit. Hold on. No, nah, we've just come level. That's only because of the wind too. If the wind backs up, we'll sit right on it. Might as well turn that skid off. Yeah. Murder them. Time to murder them? How is it going to get your mark, mate? Put me GPS. <laughs> yeah, how is it going to get it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Quick, map, map, map. Yeah. Eh, eh, eh. Quick. You're very funny. Where's <laughs> your tainer and your mark's on there? I just realised this camera's rolling. Oh, everyone, everyone actually just got to see how our brains work. <laughs> Now? I think it's funny. Yeah. Yeah? You happy with that? Yeah. Well, they have an agent sit deeper. Oh, yeah? They've caught one Jew, but it was mega Jew. That was, was like a three one, wasn't it? It was hyper Jew. some squid killing with the camera on. I'm going to film squid murder. Look at these big dogs. These big dogs. Come to daddy. Come to daddy. That's hilarious. Look at the size of it. Hang on, there's the other one. Watch out. You want to get out of there, you don't reckon? I don't care. Oh, funny fight. Get two of them. Big dogs. Yeah. 
No, it's twin. Yeah, your one's bigger. So keep the big dog. Yeah. Let him go. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, it is a snapper. Yeah. Like, it took Dom like a minute to figure out how to turn the camera on. <laughs> well, I don't have these. It's the garfish. Is it? Yeah. Really? I thought I rotated the rods. No, this is the one I put out. To the right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, wow. It's a good fish, too. Yeah, I can tell. It's a good fish. Seriously, good fish. You remember, there's no current. No. Seven. Oh, big head shakes. Big head shakes, all right. Big mulloway size head shakes, Tom. Bam. 44. <laughs> Garfish. Yeah? Yeah. You like when they land Oh my god, look at the head shake on that. Oh, yeah. Just gonna lift him in with arrogance, yeah? Yeah. Just lifting a six kilo snapper with arrogance. That's it. Garfish, yeah? Um. Twin hooks? Look at that. Both hooks pinned. Pinned beautifully. <laughs> You're joking. No. Oh, snapper, too. <laughs> yeah, well, we don't really care about the snapper. We're here for yeah, the guards. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. What the hell? What the fuck was How that? crazy. Sitting there at midnight on a weeknight. Back with the tides, the, the rods are going up forward of the boat because the wind's blowing us. Whoa. I reckon it's another one about the same. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah. It's hard to know though, jeez. Yeah. The last one fought above its weight. <laughs> Probably, this is probably 10 kilos and fighting like a pussy. <laughs> He's bigger, isn't he? Yeah, a bit bigger. A little bit bigger. Do you want male? Look? Yeah, I was going to say, it looks like a male. No light on the camera, no one's going to see nothing. Ooh. Shit! Yep. So, grab my other camera out of my bed. Uh, under Alright, so go left a bit. Yeah. Wind's gonna blow me onto him. It's alright. So much wind. Happy with that? Yeah. About to see it. There he is. Oh! Where do you want me? Net, you can net him. He's netable. Hang on. Hang on. How's that for a move? Down in front of you. Here. <gasps> the hook fell out. I got him. I got him. The hook fell out. Lift him in. The hook fell oh, out. The hook fell out. Can you believe that? The hook fell out. We netted it. I had the net. And look at this. Check out that beast. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get a weight in the net. Let's go. Yep. Right. Tags in. Just have a look. Tags in. Get him in there, let's go. That beast. Look at that. <laughs> we'll get a weight in the net, let's go. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, you good? God. Oh my god, that god. is awesome. That is, that is awesome. awesome. I can't, I've got two hands. <laughs> I've got two hands and two. Oh my god. That's just another absolutely epic memory that Dom and I have shared. Um, we shared a 21 and a half kilo Mulloway a couple of years ago now when I first got my hips done. We've done a mountain of trips together for these fish, literally mountains of trips. Dom got a 44 kilo last year and um, we're already trying to get another one. And although we didn't get it, I'll be honest, if it was you, would you be happy with that giant fish swimming off like that with a tag in it? There's, he's out there alive with that tag in him. <laughs> oh my God. 
Wow, look at the night, the moon. Everything was just, just everything lined up for us. Fuck. That's you fish TV. <laughs> this is Western Port. That's tortoise head in the distance. This is the north arm. And I've got two young guns on board. And tonight, we're chasing Mega Mulloway. That's a good start. That's a good squid, Dom. Oh, that is a good squid. You like to grab him? Yep. Yeah. Is that the closest thing you had to the sphere slimy yet? They, they guns, look at the damage on it, mate. Yeah, I know, they are good. That is a slimy mackerel. That's yep. what it is. Code SM. Look at that big dog. Another one. So, well, I think it is. If it is, it's big. Yep. It's big. Oh. Get in front of the camera. Oh my god. Oh, I'm on. Oh, I've lost it. I have to work on Keep working, mate. It's alright. I have to work on partner of yours. Oh, it's a good, good squid. Holy dooly. Oi! You just saw my hand coming in. <laughs> when he used to net him, I used to see it coming. Big no. dog. Be about the same. Yep. That one. <laughs> And the new Sophia Clinch. Looks like a clip of ice cream. Shoot, we push shallow, 1.6 meters. Oh, we're just going to do the drift again. Yeah. Let's go do it again. Come on. Keep going. Keep pushing. <laughs> you bastard. Did he get you? How good's this shit? I'm gonna go back, clean that rod up, guys. I'm gonna go move back. Pull in. Well done. So I'm gonna bring this next to you. I reckon there's a pack of them there. Always when I sit down, I don't know why. Every single trip. Oh, buddy. Oh, just keep working that jig. Just keep working that jig behind Finn. All right, Finn. Um, you gotta reach down and grab by the back of the head. You on Dom? Yep. Freeway. Close. Oh, One. Oh, it's a squid here. Bring it over here. Get the car seat behind Dom's jig. Go. Nuts, absolutely nuts that jig. You got one? Yeah. Good one. Where is it? Watch out of his way, he's got his own camera. That's a good one. Is it? One is it? Pulled the most line out of all of them I've had. Yep. No, he's no bigger than the others. Nah, pull that back. Come here, you. There it is, that's the jig again. What's that? Oh, is that one down there? That's here, multitask, camera and <laughs> grab. Show us that jig again, mate. Dynamite. 3.5. Dynamite. We weren't even meant to be filming that because it just happened so crazy. We just had to keep filming, but oh my god, that was madness. Um, 
I would love to come out here with uh, proper equipment and do that again properly because the underwater footage that we would have got would have been the same. We had packs of squid in two meters of crystal clear gin water cruising up behind the jigs. Oh, oh we're going to get some ice. We're going to get all this squid on ice. We're only, we're only going to get two, we thought, or three squid. Uh, Just going somewhere, just the light just ended. A monster rain cell. Check this out. That's us at the moment. Right in the middle of that mess. And um, we've got fresh squid on board. But we've got the right tides, we've got the right moon, and it's the right month of the year, so we're sticking it out. Dom, myself, and Finn. Why is there so much? Big one. It's still going. That was big lightning too. We both saw it. It's like anything, mate. You have a little. That was weird. What does that sound? It's like right on us. I haven't heard lightning like that before. It's that much. You don't touch anything metal in the boat. Tuck them this way, that's one of those things at the front where you can go high. Oh, take the light lightning rods down. Take the rods down? Yeah, lay them down. They're like lightning rods. I don't really want to grab them now, but... You'll just grab the foam, you'll be right, and just lay them down. Yeah, grab the foam. Oh, let it hit it then. We'll all get pictures from YouTube. If we don't die. <laughs> I'm recording it. I'll get, I'll get a lightning sword and I'll cool with it. Summon a lightning sword. It's about to go under the boat. It's going under the boat. Dom, help him. Get it pushed away from the boat. Yeah, that's it. Way more. Even more. Don't be afraid to get the rod in the water if you need to. You must get it away. You can't wander any further. Lift the fit rod up. <gasps> oh, I don't know, man. Finn, lift the rod up. What do you mean? What? One. One. Yes. Yeah, to the side. There it is. Oh, nice one. Get it in the net. Where's the net? Where's the net? There, mate. Oh, shit. Steal it, wind up in. I, I think I, I thought it was at the screen. I thought, see, this is what I mean about last one. I couldn't even see. Oh, This is the surface. We're gonna lose it. This is the surface. Nice one, mate. That's about the same size, isn't it? Yeah. Is that how big the last one was? Hmm? Maybe about a foot more. Yeah, I think that one felt bigger than me. Yeah. Nice one. Oh, look at where he's pinned. On the outside? There. Yep. And a little bit there. Not not a hard pin at all though. You've done it. You've done it. Well done, mate. You've done it. Well done. Awesome. Nice. What are we doing with him? Well, we'll get a photo. He's a good keeper, that one. Yeah, I reckon. Awesome. You get photos, mate. It's your fit. Do we need anything? There's going to be more. Dom, I'll work on the photos. You get the rods going again. And I'll get the lights off. Oh, mate. Beautiful fish. Tell with him. Don't move. He's about six kilos. And we dropped one a few minutes ago that was about 12 kilos. What are you doing, mate? A bit heavy for you, is it? Now, let's just put this in time. This is a couple of days later from our fish. And uh, tonight we had met a fella on the water who... And let's cut the, the, the story very short. At first when we met, we had a slight altercation about a Mulloway mark. And um, turns out, um, I have a lot of respect for this guy. Um, he's very honest. Um, he's come over and, and worked his ass off for a fish. 
and I'm going to show you a fish that's um, incredibly impressive and uh, I'd like you to meet him and uh, and without further ado I'd just like to just turn the camera around this way Hang on. and uh, show everyone the fish first of all get that tail around for us this is why we fish guys this is why we come here and do what we do um, this is a monster mulloway Melbourne style and it makes my fish look a little bit smaller, doesn't it, Dom? <laughs> Slightly. Uh, so just so you know, we got one about 20 kilos of night, uh, three nights ago. Um, yeah, but that's just a massive fish. Are you sure that's only 26? 26, three on, on my luggage scales. Okay, so it is, yeah. Because it looks like a 30 kilo fish, but... Feels like 30. It does, it just looks like a 30 <laughs> kilo fish, you know? I, I think... Um... You've made it a bit easy, obviously. If people like me can come out and catch a fish like this, you might have taught us a bit much, I think. Yeah? Yeah. Well, to your credit, you've driven a long way, and you're on your own in a small boat. You set it through rain. You set it through storms. Um, you know, a lot of people could have packed up and gone home. And you set through two tides for that fish, mate, for one moment yeah. in time. And from 70 metres away, where we moved up, up a bit further from you there, we could actually hear what was going on. And I could tell by the by the types of runs you were having and the swooshes of water I was hearing um, from that, that big thruster, you know, breaking the surface, I knew what you had on. And then it went quiet and I said to the guys, I don't know what's going on, but I can't hear the banging on the boat. I don't know if it means he's lost it or... Because normally they bang when they come in the boat. I was doing a moment like you. I had it on the gaff and before I brought it in the boat... Yeah. I just froze, and, you know. <laughs> just, just held it there for ages. When, when you got that big fish and you put the meat claw in it and you had the two gaffs. Yep. And you just sat it there and you just had a moment yep. in time, you know. I just had it over the side and couldn't believe it. But um, wouldn't even know that they were there if not for you. Fair enough. But How do you feel? How did it feel when it came in the boat? How, what was your emotions like? What does it mean to catch a mullet like that? Um, I rang my wife and, you know, Sort of choked up. I was pretty emotional. Yeah, it's pretty special. Like, I uh, aspire to be a good Western Port fisherman, and I think something you've done over the years is created a um, created that profile of a, a really good Western Port fisherman, and, and that's something that a lot of us aspire to. And um, to catch a fish like this mm. there's a lot of luck involved but also goes a long way to um, feeling like um, you've got some idea what you're doing out here <laughs> yeah you're bloody amazing mate really yeah. I, I i gotta i'll tell you some story now about you that you don't know um i noticed you catch that snapper and i saw the photos come through last week and i photo screenshot of that that snappy you caught yeah and i've been carrying it around in my phone looking at it true yeah really because it motivated me to go hard on the snapper it reminded me what i used to do I used to go hard and in the north arm and catch big red and a lot of them and big fish and your fish inspired me to get back get my wheels again and get out there and on the water and put some big hours in i've been exhausted I fished my ass off the last seven days because of you. <laughs> and here we are. I come up on the walk mark tonight, and there you are sitting by chance. Let everyone understand it's a bit by chance. We had words. A few minutes later, I think we sort of befriending each other a bit. And, um, you know, I think when, when that happened, I just sat in my boat. Um, I was mixed emotions. I was extremely happy. I can imagine uh, how you felt. So I was extremely happy for you in that regard. Um, I just wanted to feel that happiness for myself because it means so much to feel those things. You know what I mean? And I just want to feel it too. And that's why me and Dom would do this. It's like a drug and you want to catch these big fish. And Well, on the pelican side of snapper and I can just imagine a few fish sitting behind it. Absolutely. And you found one here tonight. And um, that, as I was doing that today, I was thinking about your first mull away capture there and thinking about how you must have felt. Were you talking about pelican or snapper rock? Snapper rock, but you're on the pelican side. Pelican side. Are you going okay there, young fella? You're holding on all right? If yep. I remember right. Just making sure young Finn's just holding the boats together for us. And I had to wake him up. And we've got Dom on board, the Mulloway guru himself. Um, Dom, that fish, uh, 
it's tw nearly 20 kilos lighter than yours, <laughs> but it still looks every bit as impressive, it doesn't it? It's huge, yeah. Doesn't it? Yeah, they're all impressive. Any Crazy. Fish in West of Hort's a task mm -hmm. in itself. You know what was incredible about the orchids? They called it for 45 before he'd seen it. <laughs> so, that's crazy. You're thinking big. <laughs> you just wanted to get it done. Yeah. So, so this, this could be 45. Yeah. And he was right. That's a good fisherman, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm tipping we can exchange some information, stay in touch, and I'll get you those photos, man. Love to. And um, obviously, by the time people. Um, hear this report it'll be a few weeks i'd imagine <laughs> it'll be over already hopefully <laughs> hopefully good work mate I'll, I'll spare you we'll get well done we'll get, that's a really good fish we'll credit, get nick back on his boat credit to you right, you you guys have seriously beaten my driver like yeah i can't can't under it under it state that enough like, well it's, it's destiny mate this is all happening for a reason i believe in destiny all the time i had to sit in the boat tonight and reason it out why why did we didn't catch a fish tonight and um i am a christian and i think that sometimes god blesses other people it's their turn and if you're going to accept those blessings for yourself at time to time you've got to accept them for other people does it make sense yeah. so when it happens to them it's meant to be so it was meant to be for you tonight mate and that's amazing Hopefully we can just come out here, reset, and get it done. Mm, 